Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to be covering a quick and brief tutorial on how to install CBA, Community Based Add-ons for Armor 3. Alright, so first things first, you want to head to armaholic.com. Alright, from here you're going to want to locate Community Based Add-ons. I'll leave a link for this in the description below, leading you right to this page. Alright, so now that we're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down, hit download. Alright, now that we have that downloaded, it's going to appear on our desktop like this. Alright, now that we have it, you're going to go ahead and 7-zip this open. So you're going to go to 7-zip, extract here. Okay. It's been extracted, and here goes the extracted file variant. Throw this back up there. All right, so now what you're going to want to do is open up your file browser. You want to head to uh, local disk and SPC, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Arma 3. All right, here we are. All right, so if you've never installed a mod and you're wanting to install multiple mods in the future, what I suggest you do is create a modifications folder. I've already had this done, so how you do this is right-click inside the empty space, head to new, create a folder, name it modifications, that's all. All right, so I already have my modifications folder here. So you want to enter here, and we have a bunch of files in here. Okay, so we're going to take the CBA that we just extracted, and throw it right into here. All right, there goes the new CBA. Now that we're done with that, we can head to the Arma 3. All right, so you can go ahead and uh, fresh start your Arma 3 launcher, like this. All right, now we're on the Arma 3 launcher. What you want to do is head to the cog up here. If you've never had a modifications folder, what you want to do is there should be nothing in here. You're going to hit this little plus sign. You want to select the modifications folder, so we're going to go through the root directory again. So we're going to head to this PC, local disk, x86, Steam, DMAPS, Common, Arma 3, Modifications. Alright, so now you can select this folder, just like this right here. Arma 3, Modifications. So this is basically telling the launcher to look inside of your Modifications folder for any add-ons that you have installed. Alright, so now that we have that, you can restart it. It's going to search for them. Alright, so now that we're rebooting our launcher, you'll see the mods auto-included. Alright, so here we are, and we have community-based add-ons here. So to go ahead and enable this, you just want to check it. There you go, CBA is running. Alright, to also create uh, modification uh, presets, you can create things like this, like that. How you do this is you check them all, hit up here, and save as, name it, and you'll create it. Alright guys, well that just about concludes this quick and brief tutorial on how to install CBA, aka community-based add-ons for Arma 3. Uh, thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.